Welcome back to Joe Stunner Boxing. Samuel Antwi becomes the British Super Welterweight Champion by knocking out Mason Cartwright in the final round, the 12th round. There was only about 35 seconds of the contest left. And Cartwright was doing what he did for the whole nearly 36 minutes, just over 35 minutes, moving forward, desperately trying to win. He lost, I can't remember what I had, I think I'd given him maybe three rounds in the whole fight. He was behind. Uh, but... Antwi, he, he walked in, walked in the front door like he has, like he'd been trying to do all fight. Antwi fires a right hand, freezes Cartwright, and then another one too puts him flat on his back. And he was not out cold, but badly concussed, I would say. Um, to his credit, Antwi quelled the celebrations, waited until Cartwright was okay, or at least was speaking, and you know, he was recovering. That's you know, a bit of class from Antwi there. Um, but this fight, I think Cartwright's okay now. This fight had been, um, it had been worthy of the British title. I think George Groves phrased it on the Channel 5 commentary like that. It stopped, uh, it, you know, all the crap we get in boxing, it's, it's sort of pushed all that to one side, stopped it for a moment and let us enjoy what we love about boxing, which is a good, honest scrap between uh, one guy who's clearly got superior skills, but the other guy d determined to overachieve. The one with the skills was Antwi, uh, both orthodox fighters, by the way. I think they're both 31 as well. Uh, Antwi came out um, looking very flash, firing lots of punches, like some jabs. But he was also throwing the right hand as well. He wasn't just jab, jab, jabbing. It was, he wasn't necessarily on the back foot. He did, throughout the fight, actually, did a lot of jitterbugging and, you know, posing and showboating. Um, calls himself True Sensation, so he likes to sort of have a bit of flash and dash. Uh, Cartwright, the polar opposite, good blue-collar scrapper, was still walking after him, letting him do his little fancy flicks and everything, uh, and still coming in, di directly looking to land with both hands, big swinging, thudding punches. And there were times when he succeeded. Antwi... Uh, Antwi by far had the better skills uh, and he was clocking Cartwright with the right hand quite quite regularly and when he when he did land he was shaking him not stunning him but shaking him I mean the last round he caught him flush and eventually knocked him out but it took him over like I say over 35 minutes to get the, to get his job done because he, at part in parts of the fight Antwi was beating Cartwright at his own game because Cartwright was getting in close and sometimes Antwi was on the ropes and Cartwright was trying to work but Antwi firing some nice punches including the uppercut oh also from very early on from about the second round Antwi was doing some good work to the body especially the right hand to the body and Cartwright again absorbed it I mean this was this was a fight worthy of the British title and you know well done to Cartwright for not quitting not taking a backward step if you wanted him to back off you had to push him back which Antwi was capable of doing sometimes but after three or four rounds you were thinking can can Antwi keep this pace up you know can he keep pushing Cartwright back can he keep containing him can he because Cart uh, Antwi was landing the heavier punches Cartwright was trying to work but Antwi was more or less having the final say in the exchanges and for the first half of the fight I think it was virtually all Antwi but then Cartwright sort of crept back into it it was a good Good little effort. It just, just shows you if you can hang in there and keep moving forward, keep your game plan together, even as uncomplicated as it was, you can kind of, you know, when Antwi's energy was a little bit sapped, you can kind of move forward and sort of impose yourself on the opponent who may have superior skills. But, you know, it's all about determination sometimes. It's a 12-round fight. If you can drag someone into what the proverbial deep waters you can really test him. And I think that's what Cartwright was doing. And to his credit, Antwi was, was hanging in there. He was fighting back. He was doing okay. Um, I do think that um, Antwi sort of neglected the body in the second half of the fight, which was disappointing because he did some really good body work in the first half. But Cartwright was edging back into it. And there was a period sort of from, I suppose, eight, nine rounds, eight, nine, ten, roughly that, that part of the fight, where Cartwright, I thought, won the rounds. Um, but it got it got right into the 12th um, and there was that, you know, sudden st stunning ending. Uh, I think Antwi would have gone on to win on points quite comfortably. I don't know what the what the judges had it. I think I had Antwi of the 11 completed rounds. I think I gave Antwi eight of them, I think, if, I, if memory serves. 
but some of them were close and you know a worthy fight two guys who are fighting for the british title and doing and showing their grit showing their determination terrific fight you know very very good very grueling and absorbing and samuel antwi you know i think he he had a fight down at welterweight a british title fight lost to echo essaman that was for the commonwealth and the british fight uh, titles and now he now he's a super welterweight champ and a worthy worthy champ and mason cartwright drops to 19 wins four defeats one draw antwi up to 17 wins uh, 18 wins i think it is with nine stoppages and two defeats both Good British level uh, fighters and Mason Cartwright can come again, I think. But it'll be interesting to see where Antwi goes from here. So leave your comments below. Thank you for your time. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and hit the like button. I'm looking forward to reading your comments and bye for now.